Welcome back to three months of Modal Logics, a sequel to 100 Days of Logic, or Logic 201 with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be looking at Axiom K in Deontic Logic. So, in Alethic Modal Logic, Axiom K looks like this. It's necessary that A implies B implies that it's necessary that A implies it's necessary that B. For Deontic Modal Logic, it looks pretty much the same. We've just replaced a and B with P and Q, and necessity with O, B, or obligation. Basically, if a particular conditional is obligatory, then if the antecedent is obligatory, so is the consequence. With this and the necessitation rule that we're going to learn about soon, we can prove the deontic equivalence axiom, which seems pretty similar. But to understand really why axiom K makes sense for deontic logic, take a couple examples. So take, it is obligatory that if you find someone that is in need, then you help them. This is an instance of, it's obligatory that F implies H. It should be clear that if then we say that it is obligatory that you find someone in need, then it will be obligatory for you to help that person. It seems that the rule holds with this example. So take another example. It is obligatory that if you make a lot of money, you must give some to charity. Obligatory that M implies C. Once again, if it is also obligatory that you make money, then it would be obligatory that you give some to charity. Obligatory that M implies obligatory that C. Hopefully that clarifies a little bit of the intuition behind why we would have this axiom in deontic logic as well as alethic modal logic. Up next we're going to be talking about another axiom for deontic logic known as axiom D. This is a special axiom that's focused specifically on deontic logic. Often alethic modal logic replaces it with an axiom T that's a little bit stronger, but for deontic logic we're just going to stick with axiom D. Watch! This video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay tuned for a new video every single day till the end of the year. Stay skeptical, everybody.